Hi, I'm Sean Martinfield. I'm the fine arts critic for the San Francisco Sentinel. I'm at the Hamilton Condominium today here in San Francisco on a rainy day, waiting for ballerina Lorena Feijó of the San Francisco Ballet, who this season will be dancing the role of Giselle by Adolphe Adam. I saw Miss Feijó do the double roles in Swan Lake, that of Odette and Odile two years ago, and fell in love with her. We're talking about an extraordinary dancer who has an unusual chance to do one of the best love ballets in the classical world. And it's my privilege to talk to her today. And I understand that Miss Feijó will be arriving on crutches. She had a little bit of a sprain the other day, so we're just going to make ourselves comfy here in the lobby. So here we are. Hi. This is my partner, Lynn. Nice meeting you. Let's make this ourselves comfy over here. Oh, holy day. Yes. I had to choose between my other crutch and my umbrella. So I chose the umbrella. So Absolutely. how many times have you danced Giselle? You know what? I have never counted, but not enough. Uh-huh. You know, it's one of those ballets that you just rediscover every time, like Paris or Venice. You know, it shocks me whenever I go back to Paris and whenever I go back to Venice that I had been in those cities and it seems like it's the first time that I see them. I get there and I'm like, oh my God, I'm mesmerized by why, what my eyes are able to like see and I think to myself, I have been here like 10 times. To Venice a little less, but it always gets me. And this is kind of the same feeling with Giselle. It doesn't matter how many times you have done it, you always find like fascinating things to add. Is there a favorite moment for you as a dancer? What is there in Giselle that is difficult, that shows you off as a ballerina that other ballerinas might learn from? Moments. I think my favorite moment is the mad scene. Just because I like acting so much and I think it's just a climax. You know, the music is so grand and suddenly it's sort of the moment where she's where you have to like put so many emotions together like you are realizing that this is happening how could you do this to me but at the same time but i love you so much and oh i remember this story that my mom said about the wheelies in you know in the first act she has all of these thought process going through her head and i remember when we play with the flower and you said yes and i said no and where did all that go and I was supposed to get married now. You know, all of these emotions that I, I love the mad scene, I, I really do. So who are you going to be dancing with? Who's going to be your Prince Albert, do you know? Um, I think for, for what we have been working with, uh, Ruben Martin. Uh -huh. In uh, Ruben's case, he's totally fresh and he was so eager to you know, just even listen to what I had to say about the role. Because, you know, like details, I, I enjoy um, so much this ballet that even how he knocks on the door in the beginning, you know, even like the musical accents, like I said, knock and wait a little bit. And when this, when this accent, the high note comes, you sort of like run away from the door with this kind of excitement that your beauty is gonna come out and dance, you know? Yes. So little things like that, you know, or when they're sitting in the bench, that there is a, a part where he says sit and she says oh oh and he's just like and she sits and says okay i'm sitting so now what and he says like oh how about me you forgot i have to fit there and she's like oh okay and she moves and 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 he kind of starts moving towards her to kind of hug her and that's something else that has to be done mainly but with with a certain um just finesse because he doesn't belong. You know, he's not hilarious. He's not a farmer. And after and all, the mother might be in the window. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And the difference between the Willies and Giselle is that it almost like she's too new, mm -hmm. so she's not bitter. Mm -hmm. she, she, the love, her love for Albrecht was greater than anything in life, so she's able to forgive him and actually help him live through the night. Yes. That Even to. to to him, I mean, she has no selfishness. She loved him beyond anything, even beyond his betrayal. Yes. So her love for him was so great that she's able to forgive him, even even death. Like the feeling that at the end of the ballet, she must be able to to convey. But you know? saved by the bell. But saved by the bell. <laughs> yes, saved by the uh -huh. bell.